So, for today, I have Sally's, Walmart. I had to run into Aldi for something for my mom, so I got this mat. Um, these were originally, I think, $9.99. And they had them on sale for $4.98 because they're fall and they're getting ready to put Christmas ones out. Um, to me, I love sunflowers, so I will use this all year. That's not just a fall thing to me. The rest of them had pumpkins and stuff on them and were halloween -y or folly, so I figured this would be good for my front door because I threw away my other one because it was gross. So I got that for $4.98. I am going to be shopping on Sunday with my mom, and I'll put the clip together with this. So this isn't just all my groceries for the week. I know this looks sad and pathetic. I also did Christmas shopping, so my total at Walmart was $200. It doesn't look like $200. But I did spend about $65, $70 of that on Christmas presents, which unfortunately I can't show you because my kids watch. So I got paper towels, these Christmas tree cakes, the big ones, they are actually big. Uh, my kids gobbled these up, so they asked me to get more. Lily also asked me to get some of these fruit apple pie things. I saw they had candy cane hot cocoa, and I'm terrible at reading sizes of things. I thought this was like the big ass can. It's only 10 ounces, and that's okay. I can always get a bigger one for the kids, because I don't think they all like peppermint. But I figured that would be nice. I've been starting to make them hot cocoa now that it's uh, getting cooler. I got a bag of sugar because of, you know, me constantly baking. I need more of that. And I got some Kool-Aid jammers for the kids. A box of goldfish for Chris. Some mini pretzel twists for the kids. Two jars of Alfredo sauce. I did buy a couple of things for Thanksgiving. This is what I use for my green bean casserole. And if I haven't made a video of that, I'll probably show you guys when I make that. Um, I'm making a cranberry chicken recipe on Tuesday when my family comes over. So I needed a can of jelly and a can of the whole berries. So I got that. Uh, I needed salami for Chris's lunch. I ordered regular chicken nuggets because they were cheaper, but they didn't have them. So they gave us dinosaur one. So score for Gabriel. Some frozen peas. I'm going to make my own little chicken pot pies for me and Chris instead of buying the little ones. I'm just going to make a bigger one during the week. So I got that for that. Uh, some cereal. Me and Chris have been eating a lot of cereal lately for breakfast. So I got some more cereal. The big bag of flour. I like to get the real big one. I don't like to get the small ones that last longer and cheaper uh, for what you're getting. Uh, corn on the cob for one night when we have hamburgers with the kids and waffle fries are for that. Heavy whipping cream for desserts I have and for mashed potatoes when I make them. Some iced tea for me. Uh, I haven't been buying vanilla Coke because they've been out of stock of it. They have all the other Coke, but I don't like plain Coke or cherry, so I've been getting this. Six bags of green beans. Some of these will be for my green bean casserole and then some of them will be for dinner during the week. Uh, two of these wet ones, hand wipes. Chris needed more for work. Some uh, face wash, because you know, not just to wash your face, but it's like the acne one because I'm 30 and I thought that my acne problems would go away and they've been just getting worse lately, so I don't know what that's about. I needed to get some Christmas tags. Got a little kitty on there. I'm so glad. Um, and so I could start wrapping some stuff. I had to get more laundry detergent. The kids need headphones for school because they broke the ones they had, so Autumn and Gabriel got those. Chris's phone charger broke in the car, so I had to get him another one of those. Flashcards, because my kids need them for school. And that was Walmart. And then in Sally's, I I have a problem. I can't stop not changing my hair. Um, I want to stop bleaching my hair because I always get scared when it comes to root touch-ups. And I'm scared of crossing over and getting it on the blonde parts and then breaking my hair. And I just... It, my hair is so dark, it has to be bleached every time, like with 40 volume. So I just, I rather not do that anymore, even though I like my blonde hair. I, I get stressed out about it and I'm trying to grow it out. So this is like a light brown. It's called caramel. I figured if I don't like it, I can always put red over it. I mean, and I have had, had the same hair color for a long time before. I just am constantly changing it. I had red for years, like seven or more just different variations of red but then I started changing it but and I also got one of these repair packs so we'll see how that works out hopefully I'll get that done this weekend and then that's everything for today and then I will add in the other clip now so Walmart Aldi Dollar Tree
TJ Maxx at the end. I had to go in Walmart for a couple things I did not get with my grocery order. I know, I'm constantly in there. Um, I wanted Christmas pillows for the couch. I already have two from last year. I wanted two more, and I saw somebody else had these in their videos, so I got these. They're reversible, plaid on the back. I thought those were pretty. It says Noel. This one says Ledge Snow and has Snowflake on the back. Those are $5 each. They didn't have a lot left. I've been waiting for these Snowball M&Ms. Me and the kids were talking about these. I'm looking forward to trying these. Gingerbread Kit Kats. Bag of pretzels for Chris. Some more bathroom soap. Baked New York bagel crisps. Chris likes those. And that was it for Walmart. I spent $70 in Walmart. Uh, this was not all I bought. I bought a couple Christmas presents, but I cannot show you because my children will see. <laughs> and that was it for that. In Aldi, I went and got a pack of paper plates. Some more eggnog. The last one I had went out of date pretty quick. This one's December 5th, so I grabbed that because I don't drink it very fast. And... Me and the kids have it. It usually takes us a while. Two loaves of bread. One's for here. One's for my mom's house. Lily wants to have sandwiches for lunch in the day. So that's what I got that for. Another pack of the Harvest Bagels. Some hamburger buns for our dinner tonight. I needed more of the K-Cups from my little coffee pot. Box of tissues. Two granola bars for Miss Lily. Some macaroni and cheese. This is the one me and my mom like to eat. It's usually uh, it's this one. The smoked Gouda. They only have one box of that. So I got... These truffle and mushroom ones. We got two of those because that's all they had. I'm sure they'll be good. Um, two bags of sweet potatoes. We're having those when my mom and everyone comes over. I might not use all two bags, but I like to have extra. So then if I feel like having some or, you know, it's just me and Chris one night. Or if we're having potatoes and Lily or one of the other kids don't want regular potatoes, you can have one of these. Box of cheese that's for the kids. Bag of onions. Some turkey lunch meat for Lily. And... Whoever else wants sandwiches, she just specifically asked for it. They had one of these left, and I think that's probably it for the rest of their German Week strudel, so I got that. Two things of butter, they were on sale for $2 each, and that's a deal because they're usually almost three. A pack of cheese for her sandwiches. A pack of round steaks for me and Chris for dinner one night. Uh, Lily and Autumn and Gabriel want chicken one night for dinner, so we're going to... Half of that will be for dinner one night, and then the other two will be for... Me and Chris, I was going to make pot pies, but I forgot to get all the ingredients, so we'll see. If I pick them up during the week, I'll make them. If not, I'll make something else. The other pack is for a cranberry chicken I'm making when my family comes over, and a bag of potatoes. That cost me $77, and I know you're probably thinking, that don't look like $77, but meat and everything's going up. It's expensive. Dollar Tree, I got these pretzel balls. The kids like them. At Easter time, they had ones like this, so I got those. Two packs of batteries, one triple A, one double A. I need tape for wrapping. I got calendar from there. Oh, this doesn't have a mini one. Usually it has a mini one and I give it to the girls. Crap. I'll have to get them their own. I thought there was a little one in here. But I got a nature one for that. Three of the gift wrap boxes. I believe there's two in each pack for when I'm doing my Christmas present wrapping. Some more head candy canes dollars she had. Uh, Chris and the kids like sour stuff, so I figured I'd get those. This snowflake mug, even though I don't need more mugs, I thought that was pretty. These little presents from my little mini Christmas tree. Some more ornament hooks that I can't pick up because of my stupid nails. Got those. I needed snow for my little village, so I got two of those. Some of the kids are going to finish decorating today. I already said the tape. <laughs> um, where did I? Yeah, I did. Oops. A roll of wrapping paper. As you can tell, snowflakes are my favorite. Uh, Dollar Tree had these candy canes for a dollar each. They never sell candy canes. My grandmother used to buy these from Dollar General for like two, three dollars. So when I saw they were a dollar each, because my mom has like a bunch of them and we don't have any. I got ten of those for our front yard. I wasn't going to go nuts. I controlled myself. And at Dollar Tree, I think I spent like twenty five, twenty six dollars. And then at TG Max, I got my face cream because it's like ten dollars off there. This was fifteen dollars. And that is my haul for the week. I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.